Well, hey YouTube, welcome back once again. If you're new to the channel, then hey, welcome aboard the 2018 Road Glide Ultra. I am Harley Day Rider, your good old friend HDR. And I am out here today just motivating around the back roads of America. Looking at all the lovely scenery here as we're coming into early fall. And you see the corn is starting to die off. The fields are starting to brown up. But it's still a lovely day to get out and ride. So what I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about, just a little bit, maybe a lot, depending on how long-winded I get, is antique classic cars. Antique classic cars. Now what does old HDR know about antique classic cars? Well, one, they're very cool, very nostalgic, very uh, early age. What's this dude doing? Mowing. God, I think he's mowing the dirt. Very nostalgic old cars. I just seen one back here not too far and that's what got me thinking about this topic uh, for sale. But the thing is about the old cars, they require a lot of work. Uh, they require a lot of uh, TLC, tender loving care. And not only that, uh, got my feet up here a little bit. And not only that, they, um, they require a lot of money. But there's an old truck parked down below our house now that uh, some gentleman is selling for like 6800 bucks. I don't know what year it is. It's, a, it's an older truck. And it's funny because when I was a young guy and I had an old station wagon was my first car. I hated it. You know, kids made fun of me, you know. And, well, let's back this up. The kids made fun of me driving to school when they when I waved at them when they were at the bus stop. Uh, so who was the funniest? Who was the funniest one? Uh, who was the one thinking me? I mowed a lot of lawns to buy that station wagon. But it's funny because when you're younger and you have an older car, you're like, oh, I got an old car, and oh my God, people make fun of me. And... But then when you get older. And you look at some of these cars like a 57 or a 48 or, uh, you know, whatever, uh, you know, a 56. You look at these old cars, you think, man, that would be really cool to have that. And I can go to car shows and I can, eh, another hobby that HDR doesn't need, I'm sure. But the funny thing about it is, I'm trying to see if the GoPro is recording. I can't even see it. I can't see the red light. I don't know. I guess I got to take it that it's recording. The remote says it's recording, so I'm going to I'm gonna guess that it's recording. But yeah, it's just another hobby I don't need. I told Miss HR, I said, hey, I saw the motorcycle, and we could buy that old truck and fix it up and tinker with it and take the body apart and rebuild it and paint it. And she goes, yeah, yeah, because you're such the mechanic. And I said, man, well, that's probably the truth. I am not. I mean, um, I think it's a big deal. I found out how to do my own services on my motorcycle. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to actually be doing an HDR garage video pretty soon. That's what I'm thinking. Let's go this way now. Yep. I'm going to be doing an HDR garage video pretty soon. And the reason I'm going to be doing that is uh, to do some tinkering on the bike. But as far as taking a car apart, man, I watch these guys pull the motors. They put them up on a motor stand and they tear them all down to like, uh, you know, they tear the heads off, they, they tear the uh, underbody, uh, the oil pans off and pull all the heads out and pull the camshafts and all that stuff out. That is so cool. I could do it. That's probably why I'm looking for a project motorcycle. Uh, we've had that discussion here a few times recently that uh, I'm getting closer to start looking. She goes, well, as soon as my living room gets remodeled, you know, then we can talk about it. Until then, we're not discussing it. So I think I'm closer because the living room's closer. So we're going to have that done soon and uh, see how that goes. But once I get that done, then I can start putting a little bit of money aside to look for a project bike. And I think what I'm looking for is some kind of soft tail. I don't know which one yet, but uh, that is my mission right now. 
to be able to get a, some kind of soft tail motorcycle and uh, tear it down, you know, be able to work on the engine a little bit. And I, I don't know if I want probably something carbureted. I guess if you're going to learn how to work on something, it probably should be carbureted uh, without dealing with the fuel injection system and all that. So at least I think anyway. I don't know what I'll find. I'm going to have to dig around, but. And I would like it to be a Harley, either a Harley or Indian, just because I think I'll find more resources and parts uh, for the Harleys and the Indians than I would like if I buy a, a 1978 Honda or something. Or, and I'm not that it wouldn't be a cool bike. I mean, that would be pretty cool to have that, but I just don't know if I'd be able to find all the parts. But that's my general plans right now, and I hope this works out for me. Because as far as buying an antique car, I mean, have you ever thought about an antique car? And they're cool. I love going to car shows. I think it's a good time. Checking out all people's work and all the money they put into it and all the love. And, and let's face it, classic cars are pretty much like motorcycles. You're not going to ride them. They're not going to take them on drop in the wintertime. It's just not going to happen. So, at least I don't believe it's going to happen. Maybe sometimes they do. I don't know. But I wouldn't do it. Put a ton of money in the engines, a ton of money on chrome and the wheels and all that stuff. So, but hey, I do like the old car shows. And let me know if you like car shows. Do you still go to those? I also like going to motorcycle shows where they got old bikes. I think that's a lot of fun. Getting to go out to motorcycle shows and uh, checking out the motorcycles, the other bikes and stuff there. So it's always a lot of fun to check that out. There hasn't been many this year, obviously, because of the whole, uh, you know, uh, the whole world being upside down right now. So everybody's kind of backed away from any uh, big gathering events like that. But man, I used to love those. Most car shows and motorcycle shows are free, right, to get into. Uh-oh, there's a red light. There might be a Sean Smoke train coming. There, I don't think there's been a train on these tracks for a long time. Uh, it's just a, a one light up there. I think that's actually just showing them the switching. Uh, we better stop just in case. Nope. I hate to be ran over by a train. Now, as Bodine would tell you, it would make good video. <laughs> Yeah, if he found the GoPro and he went to and pulled the video and uploaded it for me, because I probably wouldn't be here to upload it anymore. But, hey. All right, I'm going to let this one uh, kind of roll out here and uh, keep motivating along. Said I told Miss Sasha it wouldn't be out too long today. Just coming out, taking a little short ride there. Get the motor kind of running and... Uh, playing around a little bit with some uh, GoPro footage to see how to see how it's going to look and uh, how it's going to work out for me but uh, hopefully it's going to come out okay I was going to take it to the lake but I don't even think I'm going to go up there now I think I'm just going to head home and uh, did you see how that car slowed down because I didn't know if I was pulling out Pretty nice of them. Yeah, but I think I'm just gonna head home, put the bike back in the garage, and uh, see what Mrs. HR is up to. Welcome to Hickory. <laughs> ooh, ooh. It's funny, they call this Hickory, um, but it's also called Mount Pleasant. Pennsylvania, but but there's a different Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania. It's, it's really confusing. So if you look us up on the map, it's Route 18, and I still call it Hickory, PA. So I think I don't I think that's the yeah I'm pretty sure that is our address up here. I don't know how it ever got uh, tied in with Mount Pleasant. Maybe somebody lives around here could tell me that can uh, voice an opinion and say, hey HDR, I know why. Oh, I know why it is. Uh, all right, well, hey, if I, uh, if I haven't commented on your video lately, uh, or 
and I try to comment as soon as I watch them, I really do. But what happens a lot of times when I watch videos, I watch them on the TV, and then I get my phone out, and I look for your video, and I comment through the phone. Obviously, I can't comment through the TV, right? So that's what I normally do, and uh, it normally works out pretty good. But, yeah, I see, I see no red light flashing on the camera. But hopefully it is recording. All right, everybody. Well, again, thanks for watching this video. I do appreciate it. There is some other bikes out. That's good. People are still getting their uh, riding time in. I will talk to everybody next time. Let me know in the comments below about the, if you've had any car shows or motorcycle shows in your area this year. And uh, if you were able to attend them, I'd love to hear from you. Remember, Roger, I'll ride and be safe out there. Harley Day Rider will be down and out in the beautiful southwestern Pennsylvania. So long for now, everybody. Yeah.